you're gonna want to know how to take these out. So we're gonna delete these from here. We're not gonna delete the actual apps. We're just gonna take them out from the dock because your dock might get too much stuff in there that you're not gonna use. Because anything that you have down here, it's just for your quick access. Because at the end of the day, to access any of these, you can just go into Finder and under Finder, you can just go into Applications, which is your third option. And you're gonna see all your apps. So even apps that are not in there. So again, any programs that you don't see on your dock down here below would be under your Applications folder. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. And for example, Contacts, I don't need quick access to this. All you have to do in order to get this out of here is drag it out. So click on it and drag it out into your desktop. It's gonna say remove, let go of it, and it's gone. Did you just delete that app? No, it's just out of here. So it's not in your way. Same thing I'm gonna do with calendar. I'm gonna do the same thing with Freeform, for example. Apple TV, I don't need quick access to that. I don't need quick access to this. I don't need quick access to this. Don't need quick access to this. There's a lot of stuff that I don't need quick access to, and it's gonna make everything look so much cleaner and so much better. Same thing with maps, I don't need quick access to that. Everything else, I kinda do need quick access to because I do check them out a lot. FaceTime, I don't need quick access, barely use that. And there you go. If you would like to add anything in here, on the other hand, all you have to do, for example, is go into Finder. Once we're in Finder, just tap on your third option. It's going to say Applications. And I can drag any application into there to have quick access to it. So, for example, if I want quick access to my time machine, I can just drag that over down here. Just place it anywhere. And there we go. I have quick access to that. Or I can bring anything that was there before, such as FaceTime. I want to move that back in here. I can move it back just by dragging it into this space. So that's how you guys can add anything into your dock or take it away. Anyways, right now I'm going to take those away. But before I keep going, I do want to highlight that Time Machine is something that's in under system settings. And Time Machine is something that you want to set up if you have an external hard drive. So if you want to keep a backup of your Mac, make sure to set up Time Machine. It's really good. It's pre-built into every single Mac and it helps you transfer stuff from one Mac to another if you want to upgrade later on. Plus, it's a great backup. I do have a separate video that shows you everything about Time Machine and how to set that up. So make sure to check that out. Now, something else that you're going to want to know is how to create folders and so on. So technically, in order to keep everything clean, you want to open up Safari and create folders in there. So whether that's in the, your documents or downloads or anywhere else, all you guys have to do is right click. And you can create a folder and there you go. You can title it anything you want. Click anywhere out, just press enter, whichever. I can create another folder. I can just leave it as in as is just by pressing enter. Just gonna leave it. Just click out of it. And there you go. To rename a folder at any point in time, all I have to do is just click on it, press return key right here on your keyboard, and then just use your arrows. You can go back and forth on it and then just change the name to whatever you like. So I'm gonna delete this. Just pressing delete on my keyboard and I can just put tech and design, for example, YouTube channel. Click out of it and there you go. Just change the name. To delete anything, so if you want to delete any folders or any documents, movies, pictures, anything really from your Mac, all you have to do is just click on it. Then you're going to press command delete. That's on your keyboard and it's been deleted. After you delete it, it does go down to your trash bin down here below. Just right click on your trash bin and empty it out. That's the quickest way to fully delete it. You're going to see this. And then from here, just press on empty trash. So you're done. Now let's say you're having problems deleting anything. Well, just make sure you're admin user, which you are most likely. And in this case, we're going to right click here. We're going to going to get info and then under get info you're going to see down here below it's going to say sharing and permission just open that up and you're going to see if you have permission to read and write just make sure you have permission to read and write you can unlock this obviously with using your password but for most of you you're good to go you can change all of this to read and write read and write because if you couldn't delete it most likely it was just on read only so maybe that was getting your way you can just put read and write close this up and then you can just delete it in order to delete this, another way would be to right click on it. If you right click on it, you can just select your second option where it says move to trash. And there you go. And then just empty it from your trash. Like I said, now to empty it from your trash bin, there's another way. 
you can double click on this to open it up so just tap on it once and then you're going to see the option to empty it out right here on the top right hand corner you're going to get this option as well and you're done so that's how you can delete any files right here on your mac if you want to delete any programs then you could do it the exact same way or download an app that's called app delete that's what i use but you don't need it you can just delete it from here just like i deleted all those folders if you're downloading an app right here that's not from the app store on your mac all you have to do for example i'm downloading this one right now obviously click on allow it's going to go directly to your downloads folder and in this case it's right here so let me just go on and open it up just by clicking on it it's going to say open yeah and then you're going to see this installation just follow the installation right through install and it's going to download it it's basically going to download the app and move it into your applications folder and that's how you do this so right now just by following that it's already installed with a dmg file it's going to be pretty much the same thing and i can check out any applications just by going to finder i'm going to open that up then under favorites the third option will see applications right here you're going to see your apps which includes the one that i just installed right now so at this point you have all your basics for your mac but you want to highlight one more thing if you click on the top where it says your time or date you're going to see all of this so you're going to get any notifications you're also going to get a lot of information that you may want may not want these are your widgets and i'm not going to show you too much into this there's other videos that go really deep into widgets but I just want to highlight that you can edit these you can you can have less or more but from what i've seen not that many people even use these widgets to get them out of the way just click on your desktop anywhere and they're gonna go away as well as if you want quick access to any of your main settings on the top right hand corner again just click here on this option so you're gonna see that you've got wi-fi bluetooth airdrop these are your main things your display if you want it brighter less bright you want your audio to go up or down you can always mess around with these on your keyboard yes but if you don't want to you can mess around with them here focus is also good so you're not bothered with notifications all over the place so you can check that out and obviously we have music down here because a lot of people listen to music while they work get out of this just click away anywhere on your desktop and last but not least let's set up your email so down here below you're gonna see mail just tap on it you're gonna see this if it's setting up for the first time then it's gonna show you your inbox this will only be for your iCloud email however you can set up any email in here in this app so you can add your Gmail Hotmail any email that you want you can add it on here and in order to do that you just go on the top left hand side of your screen you're gonna see mail just tap on mail and here you're gonna see this accounts and settings what you want to do is going to add account which is your third option well, technically fourth option down here below you're just gonna add your account and from there you're gonna see all these options so like I mentioned before it depends what type of email you've got if your email doesn't match any of these just going to other mail account but just to show you an example I'm gonna add in a Gmail account so that means it's a Google account press continue and then from here just type in your email it's gonna ask you for your password and then just go next 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 and you've added everything onto it so like i said you would just press next and yes if you got any security in your gmail most likely you got a notification on your phone or your tablet you just have to open up that youtube app and you would just verify there if you're doing this with google now you can also add your gmail into your contacts so you're just adding your contacts into here this app calendar you can sync up your notes you can sync up anything from google really and I suggest just clicking on everything. You don't have to. This is just for mail. But anyways, let's just tap on done. And at this point on your left hand side, you should see after just a little bit, just wait for it. It's going to load up everything for you. And everything does keep loading for me right now. It's refreshing. I'm going to see Google. So that's my other mail account. So on the top of your mail, you're going to see all these options. You're going to see all inboxes. You're going to see your iCloud or Google. So you can tap on each one of them or just tap on all inboxes you're going to get everything all in one so you can view all of them and you can keep adding more and more emails that you have from other servers such as hotmail for example into this one app so that's it for your mail account so i'm just going to close this up for now and like i mentioned before you can download apps programs from safari so because not all of them are in the app store but if you do want to download something from the app store this is how you do it so just open up your app store and from here, we're just going to continue on and I'm going to give you an example. So you can enable notifications or not with the App Store. 
what I would do is just not, I just get way too many notifications. And then from here, you're just gonna search for the app that you want. So we're just gonna search for Final Cut Pro, for example. And let's say I didn't buy Final Cut Pro yet. Then what I would see on that specific app would be a price. Obviously it's not 299, this is just another app, but this is just to give you an example. Right now, since I bought this before, I'm gonna see this. So all I have to do is just download it. And there we go. I'm downloading the very first app into this Mac. Now, if I want to download any other apps such as, let's say, Compressor, I can just search up for it. Again, something I bought before. I'm gonna go on and download it. Don't wanna mention that there's a bunch of free apps right here on your app store. But as soon as the app gets downloaded, you're gonna see this open. You can also find any apps that you may have downloaded in Finder. Once you open up Finder, you're gonna see Applications. Click on that, and then you're gonna see the apps here. So I can see Final Cut Pro is still downloading. However, Compressor fully downloaded, so it's right here. And that's how to find any apps that you have downloaded into your Mac and are fully installed. As soon as they download, they pretty much install by themselves. That's if you're downloading them from the App Store. However, if you're downloading them from Safari for a specific website, and that's a little bit different because it's going to give you a DMG file. Just click on it, just follow, just click next, 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 basically. And what usually happens during this process is that whichever app you download, it's going to be added into your applications folder. It just moves it onto there and that's it. That's how you guys can do that. So that's how to download apps right here on your Mac. Other than that, that's it. I showed you all the basics that you need to know for your Mac just to get you started. If you want more specifics, I do have a ton of more videos with tutorials, but that would be it for this one. Go on and have fun with your Mac. If you have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.